Using these tools available in the Primitives panel, you can create mesh services in AutoCAD. In this tutorial video, I'll explain the procedure to create these surfaces. I'll start with the TabSurf command. TabSurf creates a mesh surface from a path curve in the direction of the direction vector. I'll click on TabSurf command. Now I'm asked to select the path curve. So I'll click on the spline which will act as a path curve. Now I'm asked to select an object for the direction vector. I'll pick this line. But this surface has too few phases. So I'll undo this and I'll create the tab surf again. There is a variable called surf tab one using which you can control the number of phases in the horizontal direction. So presently it is given the value six. I'll give the value 50. Now I'll repeat tab surf again. This is a path curve and this is a direction vector. Now when you go for a shaded representation, you can see that it has more number of phases. Now I'll introduce you to the next mesh surface creation command called rule surf. So click on rule surf command. This command creates a surface connecting two defining curves in space. Now I'm asked to select the first curve, which is the spline and the second curve, which is the circle. This is the surface. Here also surf tab one variable controls the number of phases in the horizontal direction. Next, I'll introduce you to the RevSurf command. So click on RevSurf and we are already familiar with the revolve command in solid as well as in surface modeling. It's a similar command in mesh modeling. Now I am asked to select the object to revolve. I'll select this particular curve. Next, I have to select the axis of revolution. This vertical line is the axis. Start angle if you want, you can give to give an initial angular offset. I want to retain it at zero. I want the revolution to start exactly from the current position. Now give enter. Now it will ask you for the included angle. I want the full circle revolution. So just give enter because 360 is the default. So this is the shape of the revolved surface. When you look at the surface, you can see that we have few phases in the vertical direction. You can increase the number of phases in the vertical direction using another variable. Let's see that. So I'll undo this revserve command using surf tab two variable. You can control the number of phases in the vertical direction. I'll give 50. Now I'll click on revserve again. I'll select the object to revolve and the axis. Then I'll give two enters. Now you can see that you have 50 phases in the vertical as well as in the horizontal direction. Now we come to the next mesh surface creation command that is edge surf. This command can be used to create a surface connecting four distinct and adjoining edges in space. Here I have four curves which are separate curves and these curves are having perfect end to end contact. Now I'll click on edge surf. I'm asked to select the first object, second object, third object and the fourth object. The moment you pick the fourth object, the software automatically creates a surface. Now I'll take you back to wireframe representation and you can see that you have 50 faces in the horizontal as well as in the vertical direction. I'll erase this mesh and set the values of surf tab one and two variables to 10 each. Next, I'll click on EdSurf again and create a new surface. Now you have relatively fewer number of faces. I'll change the visual style to shaded with edges. Then I'll click on face up object and select four faces. And I'll activate Y axis and move these faces. Now press escape and click on smooth more and select this mesh and give enter. And I'll apply smooth more two more times. Hence, you can manipulate a mesh surface by selecting the various sub objects in the surface. So that's all about the procedure to create and edit mesh surfaces in mesh modeling.
In the next tutorial video, we will see an interesting application of the edsurf command. We will create a hull shape of a boat using this command.